Hey Yoda, Tenekoto, hello and welcome back to another episode of FTL here in the Advanced Edition. Today we're going to be playing with the Lanius Cruiser Type B. If we come over here, this is what the Lanius A looks like, pretty awesome. The Type B looks even cooler. It looks so cool in fact that it looks like a Transformer, so why not name this guy the Transformer? That kind of worked and it kind of didn't as a segue. Alright, Jill. Your name is no longer Jill. You are called Optimus. How could you have a ship like this and not have the pilot be Optimus? Then we've got our first Lanius here. You're going to be Ironhide. I think that's pretty good. And Tech. What are you? Red Alert. There we go. Alright, so the Lanius Cruiser Type B. This is one of the most powerful ships in the game because not only does it start with two Lanius crew members, but it also starts with a teleporter, meaning that we can get Lanius boarding going right from the get-go. To aid the teleporting, it also comes with this very powerful advanced flat gun, one of the best weapons in the game, requiring one power, and a ch charge of eight seconds and three shots. So this is ridiculously powerful right up there probably more powerful than the bl2 this particular variant of the flak one we also get mind control to supplement the teleporting so when we board other people we can mind control them for 10 seconds which is also pretty useful the only downside is that it doesn't actually start with sensors but otherwise the layout is it's decent these rooms right here are probably the only rooms that aren't that close to an airlock but we'll see how that goes other than that, not much else to say other than in order to get the Type B, what you need to do is to complete Advanced Mastery, have Hacking, Mind Control and the Battery active at once, which basically means you have to ha have the battery you know, pressed in, Mind Control and the Hacking Drone activated. Having the systems on your ship isn't enough, you need to actually activate them. Scrap Hoarder, at least 600 scrap in our storage, bit of a challenge run and easy I imagine is what that'll take. And loss of cabin pressure. Get to sector 8 without our ship's net oxygen levels exceeding 20%. Starts after the first jump. So, this is actually easier than it sounds. It's not that hard at all. Finally, we also start with the emergency respirators augment, which we're probably going to sell because it only increases the, decreases the damage from low oxygen by half. So, interesting augment, but, you know, there's more powerful augments out there. Advanced Edition is enabled, and we are playing on hard, and everything else is ready to go. So, let's go. Alright, the data we carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. We'll need supplies for the journey, so we need to make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebels can catch up. Oxygen. If a ship's room colour changes from tan to red, it means you're losing oxygen. Crew will be damaged and fires will burn out in rooms with red hazard stripes. That is indeed true, and as you can see here, the Lanius are demonstrating that for us perfectly. But what we're going to do is take our Lanius and send them over to the teleporter to make use of them in Lanius boarding. Let's go ahead and save those crew positions, power up the flak, and let's get a moving. I've turned on beacon paths because I think in hard mode it's almost necessary have the beacon parts online otherwise you just can't see what you're doing um let's jump into this middle one eeny meeny miny mo let's just go to the middle <laughs> we just have enough power to power everything which is rather unique upon completing our jump we receive a message from a nearby ship greetings and welcome to our beacon for a small fee we'll let you continue on your way they're asking for 17 scrap, but we don't have that, so we're really going to reject that offer. Too bad, you'll regret this decision. It sounds cool in the first bit, but not in the second bit. Alright, let's go ahead and board their ship in the weapons room, because that is a pretty powerful rocket. And they've got an NG in there. Let's see what the second crew member is, though, before we decide to mind control. It's a Mantis. Glad I did that. Let's go ahead and mind control, get him out of there, and kill the NG. Okay, there's a human as well, so... Hmm, got the rocket, and it's done one damage to our doors, that's not good. Now this ship weapon room is out of oxygen, meaning that our Lanius can basically wail on it. And in comes the man into this, but now that the oxygen's out, he's taking bonus damage in addition to that. The ion stunner weapon went down, and unfortunately the rocket didn't. 
it's a Leto missile, okay. Only doing one damage. Now our engines are down, but that doesn't matter because their weapons are down. And we finish off the Mantis and Angie, and they're dead. No more life signs remaining on the ship, so we gain one fuel, one missile, and 19 scrap. Very easy fights. The only issue is that we have the clone base, so we can't heal up our guys after these fights. So getting an upgraded clone bay pretty early on is a one of our higher priorities. Also another high priority is, of course, those level 2 shields. Let's go ahead and fix the engines and then we'll be ready to jump out of here. Alright guys, way to go. So apologies if I don't talk very much, it's just the FTL and the way that you have to present FTL. There's a lot of talking involved and I'm taking drinks of water periodically to keep the voice lubricated. And you might be able to hear the washing machine. Goodness gravy. You detect a rebel scout on an attack approach to a small refueling outpost. The weapons are charged, but they're not yet firing. They have a flak one! And a basic laser. These guys are pretty powerful. We're going to intervene to defend the outpost. The rebel responds to our threat. I don't know who you are, but no one defies a rebel fleet. The move to engage. What we're going to do is teleport on board once again, but instead of teleporting into the weapons, we're going to teleport into the shield room so that we can fire our flak. Well, I guess for now we'll teleport into the weapons. But we'll have to move out of there once our flak is ready to go. Oh man, that washing machine is so loud. Okay, it's time to move. Time to move. We'll move into the engine room. And the flak weapon did go offline. And now the room's out of oxygen, so... Job done. They did fire their flak, though, and it did quite a bit of damage. Hopefully it'll be okay. Anyone else coming into this room? I don't think so. So we'll go ahead and finish off the weapons. There we go. Let's move in here and finish off the crew members which are no doubtedly almost completely dead. There we go. Hopefully we'll be able to take them out. There we go. With the crew dead we salvage one fuel, one missile and 20 scrap. I can hear myself think again. The outpost tales are saying that the pompous bastards expected free scrap just because they defeated the Federation. And take this for the help. Service, not scrap. They give us 4 fuel and 12 scrap regardless. That's a lot of fuel early on. <laughs> if we come across those events where they need fuel, we got you covered. Okay, I think we're going to jump down here now and see how we do from there. Didn't use our mind control during that fight, but I did use the flak. Dang it. You find a rebel automated scout floating near this beacon. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. We could attempt to download the ship's starter stores, or we could not risk activating it and gain 9 scrap. We've got a heavy laser and some kind of... What is that? The, what do they call that? Charge? Charge ion? Chain? I forget I forget these names. We're going to detect them anyway. We accidentally reactivate the ship's AI. This weapon immediately goes online, so we need to prepare for a fight. And they've deployed a hacking drone. We need to see where that thing hits, because that determines the fight. Doors! No problem. Let's go ahead and hit those weapons as soon as we can. And I think we'll just attack their helm with our flak gun. Of course the great thing about the Lanius is that they don't need oxygen, meaning that we can board these automated drones without any issues and them losing health whatsoever. I don't think we took any damage. We got lucky there with the uh, the damage points there. I'll have to take a look back at the video because I wasn't really paying attention because I was explaining. And while we're in here because the rooms are connected we'll just take out the hacking. Now we can fire at them mercilessly with our flak gun. It's also good that we came across this guy because that means that there's nothing to kill our friends and send them to an early grave. We're getting a lot of misses here. So much so that we may have to send our guys back in there. Okay, those should all hit. There we go. I guess we'll try and take the shields out. Well, looks like a decent number of those are hitting. We haven't seen a flak weapon on my channel before. So the way that the flak works is that rather than specifically targeting the room, there's these, this red circle appears around where you're going to target. And then once the weapon actually fires, there are smaller red dots 
showing you where the hits are actually going to go. As you can see, some of these points are outside of a room, in which case if that happens, it simply won't have a ship will miss. The ship explodes, leaving behind two fuel, one drone part, and 15 scrap. That is a lot of scrap. Very early on in the game, we've only jumped to a few places. I think before we hit that distress beacon though, what I'm going to do is upgrade my shields. And we don't really have the power bars to do that, or do we? Well, we kind of do. If we need to power up the mind control, we could... I guess we could use the power from the oxygen. Yeah, alright. This ship starts with a lot of reactor power. A lot of reactor power. We've got our level 2 shields. The distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their defense system has gone haywire and their repair crew can't approach without being fired on. They're looking for help to fix or disable it, so let's promise to help. And we can send an injured crew member in to remotely repair the targeting system. Your crew member is able to remotely fix the glitch in the defense AI, allowing the repair crew to close in and finish the job. The station gives you its thanks, along with one fuel... No, no fuel. One missile wonder in part 20 scrapidos. Fantastic. That's a lot of scrap. We're gonna jump up here and hope there's a, there's a store here. We need to come across some kind of extra weapon to supplement our flat cannon here. By the time you notice the rebel ship behind the beacon, it's too late to avoid a fight. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, we're going to jump on board into their weapons room because they have something that can hurt us. And we're also going to depower that because that weapon can't hurt us. And then we'll be able to use our mind control mercilessly. It looks like someone's coming in. Because it's a rebel ship, it's always going to be a human. So let's go ahead and get a third crew member for 10 seconds. Okay, it looks like our guy is almost about to die. But we're going to prevent that for as long as we can by sending him out of the room. Sending them back in the room, cool little switch. And there we go. And they run out of the room because they're low on health. This guy... I'm not sure if he managed to get the kill off. They managed to fire two rockets, taking out our teleporter and oxygen, which isn't good. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and repair that teleporter because their missile is down now and that can't punch through our shields. Both weapons are down. I can't heal my dudes up, so I might as well just send them in to die. Oh, really? Okay, they might actually survive. Wow. There are no more life zones remaining on this ship, so we strip it of useful materials, gaining one fuel, two missiles, and 19 scrap. I honestly did not expect these guys to survive. The engine needs to get out of there and repair the O2, because otherwise he'll start suffocating. Of course, it doesn't matter for these guys. You get over there. Apparently those do switch spots. Let's go ahead and power up that level 2 shield and repair the oxygen and get out of here. And that was an unnecessarily noisy drink. Alright, come on NG. Optimus Prime, are you ready to fly us out of here? You better be. There's a store right there. Just before I go there though, I probably want to make a little bit more money. So let's jump around. This beacon has been built for a nearby civilian space station and no one hails our ship. Oh. Um. Three, four, five. We should have five jumps. I want to do one more just to get a bit of money. See what they have. Uh oh, no. At least we've got two level two shields. This beacon has been placed too close to a super giant class M star. The ship will gradually overheat until we get out of here or die. A pirate, apparently oblivious to the danger of the sun, moves in to engage. Their weapons can't hurt us, but that sun most certainly can. We also can't jump on board or use our mind control until the Zoltan shield goes down. Alright, flat cannon, don't miss so badly this time. All three hit that time. Convenient. Oh boy. And boop, alright. Now we can get in there. We're going to depower our clone bay. And let's jump into their weapons room. Let's see what we got. Okay, oh there's a mantis. Can we mind control the mantis? 
sure can. Uh, O2 is on fire, so let's go ahead and vent that room. Didn't want them on the fire to burn out, burn it out. Destroy these weapons, gents. I wish that other guy would go and attack his own crew member. Oh man, so one of our Lanius has died. That guy's about to die if we don't do something, so let's go ahead and use the power from our teleporter. The O2 fire has stopped. Can't hear any other fire with everything that's going on. Looks like they had to leave, leaving this guy on five health. Red alert, way to go. Oh dear. Okay, another solar flare is incoming, but we have level two shields. And the shields took a beating there. Let's go ahead and deoxygenate that room for a while to get rid of the fire. And our first guy is back from the brink. The ship is running out of oxygen, so let's power that up temporarily. Temporarily. Their oxygen's running low as well. Fire in the shields has stopped. Uh, let's go ahead and repair that because, yeah, those guys can't shoot. Alright, and this guy is healed up, so let's go ahead and teleport back over onto their ship. We shouldn't need the mind control. Let's jump over into their oxygen where they probably are. No, the ship is on fire. Ooh, the plot thickens. Here they are. Bye bye, Mantis. <laughs> no more lessons remaining on the ship, so we gain one missile, one drum part, and 18 scrap. Just what I wanted, but now we can't get these guys out of here in a pinch. Okay, let's get you back on the helm. All that matters, no fires in any rooms that I can see. So let's go. Okay, now let's head down to the store. 73 scrap should be enough to to get us rolling with anything that they might have for sale. A transmission from the nearby planet indicates an outpost below which offers supplies to travelers. Let's send down an away party to check it out. Okay, nothing really here that I want to get. Drone recovery arm would be interesting if we were playing um, with a drone ship. Crew members? Mantis are always good for fighting, and we are kind of a boarding ship, but they don't really pair well with the Lanius. I think what we're going to do here is just patch the ship up a bit, and yeah, there are fires on the ship, okay, so let's sort out what those are. We won't use these guys just because there are, there are fighters and we need them healthy and strong, but we've got to find that fire search down this wing of the ship first, not down here. But the engines. It's not in any room that I can see. Down below. Oh, here it is. Okay, now there's a fire in the engines. Okay. You get out of there. We'll we'll vent this fire. That's a pretty severe fire. That went out of control pretty quick. And it's gone. Alright. Da 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 da! Alright. How's our power distribution? Is that what we want? I think that's what we want. Distress beacon over here? Do I want to upgrade my ship before I head down there? Possibly. We need at least an extra power bar so that we can power up a mind control without suffocating our NG. So let's go. The Autobots are ready to battle. Once you arrive at the location of the distress call, a civilian ship hails us. Thanks for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire and we can't plot a course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. Could you lead us there? Let's lead them to their destination. Take this bit of scrap as a down payment. We'll use your jump signatures to follow you. You're really helping us out here. They added a quest marker to our, our map and we gained seven scrap. It's so that way. How much time have we got? One, two, or three. One, two, three. All right, let's go. Optimus is almost fully healed up. Oh, hello. You arrive at the ship you were escorting jumps in behind you. Thanks for the help. We work in a nearby fusion power plant. We could try to improve your reactor's output as a form of compensation. They increased, upgraded our reactor power by one, meaning that we are once again able to power everything. So that was worth 20 scrap. Not bad. Not bad. I'd take that any day. 
We might actually be jumping to the exit early here now that I think about it. Well, there's no real other way to do that, was there? Hmm. They'll overtake that jump that was over there now, which kind of sucks. You arrive near a damaged and dilapidated space station. It appears to be abandoned, but we detect faint life signatures on board, so let's board that station and look for survivors. Human corpses are scattered across the station. You find the source of the signal, a lone survivor that locked themselves in a storage closet. You quickly retreat, retreat with them in tow back to the ship and hope they can recover enough to be of some use. We gain 10 scrap and Notch, the creator of Minecraft. Welcome Notch, let's go ahead and you're our new helm guy because we'd like to have our NG available for mobile repairs. But we're going to be renaming you Notch, you're no longer called the creator of Minecraft, oh ho ho no. Your name is Ratchet. The Lombax and Autobot, apparently. Let's jump to the next sector. Well, the next beacon that goes to the next sector. You've arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, we can jump to the next sector. There are a number of ships stationed around a rest shop. You immediately receive a message saying, If you're looking for some bodies to fill your ship, you've come to the right place. We're talking about a life, people, obviously. 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 They're offering us an NG or a human. Do I want to pick up extra crew? We're doing relatively okay. So I'm not going to hire anyone. we are actually got a pretty good amount of scrap. The only real thing we're missing right now is a weapon. Other than our flat gun, which is actually pretty powerful. Pirate controlled or Zoltan controlled? I'm going to go... Uh... Let's go Zoltan, because I do want to get another weapon from a store, potentially. And Zoltan sectors have more stores in them, of course. You arrive in Zoltan space. From what you have heard, they anticipated the coming war and made preparations to hold their borders. Alright. So we jump in and we immediately encounter a distress signal. <laughs> the first few of those were intentional. I mean, non-intentional. Well, let's just drag it a I did it again. <laughs> oh well. It appears that the distress beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon. Our sensors are picking up a single life form. Let's go down to the surface to investigate. We find a man living alone in a cave. From the appearance of his wrecked ship, it seems he's been here for many years. He looks healthy, but his mental state is questionable. Questionable enough for me to say that he's not worth the risk. I think he has a chance of killing a crew member there, so you don't really want that to happen. We could potentially jump back here. We're going to be probably spend a, quite a bit of time in this nebula, so we could potentially go something like this, this, and then to the store. Let's try that out. It's a bit riskier, but that's all right. This must be one of the Rebels' unmanned scout ships. Looks like there's no way around a fight. They've got a missile and... Maybe they deployed a missile, some kind of missile weapon, or... Oh no, they've got a beam drone, okay. In that case, we're pretty much safe. If, and we actually managed to take it down before it fired, so that was obviously a Leto missile. And for the hell of it, let's take down... Excuse me, take down their, uh, what's it called? Drones? Way to go, bird. Let's take down the shields as well if we can help it. There they go. And let the flak can come in and finish them off. Whew. Things are going relatively smoothly here in the Lanius B so far. How long will that last? Mysteries, mysteries. And this should actually kill them. Nope. Okay. From what I understood, the line was in on these. But maybe it isn't. The missile weapon comes back online, but it's too late. The ship explodes, leaving behind one missile, one drum part, and 18 scrap. Another really good reward. Up, we're up to 80 scrap. Again, enough to cash in at a store or see what we can do. There are a few more zealous in their customs checks than the Zoltan. A team of border police beam on board. There's just a little confusion over your weapon licenses, but things escalate rapidly from heated discussion to gunfire. Okay, they're on board the ship, in our door system. They can't teleport back. 
So what we're going to do is wail on them with our flak for a while and we'll go and handle the guys in the shield room. Oh, no. I've decided to go here now. And they're still in the doors. Okay, let's mind control one of them. There we go. So there's actually another one in there as well. Alright. Let's send this guy in here. Okay, they're deploying a missile weapon at us. One of them is dead. The missile hit in an empty room. That's alright. It did start a fire. So let's get that under control. The door's almost destroyed, but it'll be okay. Okay, once they kill their own crew member, there we go. Let's go ahead and send our Lanius bro in there. Oh, he's still dying. There we go. And now we can go in with these guys. Fire that flak weapon, gentlemen. Okay, that missed, which is actually quite lucky. The shield is down, but we're going to go ahead and fire with the flak. Oh man, kamikaze. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and fire with the flak and hopefully take down that missile before it causes too much undue harm. The door system is destroyed. Go ahead and fire the missile weapon again at the missile weapon, just to make sure that stays down. One Lanius is revived. Once the other Lanius is revived, we'll go ahead and jump on board their ship. We'll go ahead and send our NG to repair the doors. Oh man, they, they got an NG in there or something. They're determined to keep that missile weapon online. Let's go ahead and jump in there and make sure that stays offline. He's in there now. Let's go. It's a Zoltan and another Zoltan. The Zoltan cause the AoE damage that is new in the Advanced Edition to other Zoltan? I don't think it does. There are no more life stones remaining on their ship, so we strip it of useful materials, gaining 1 fuel, 2 missiles, and 21 scrap. Cool. Took a ton of damage there though. They're almost dead again. But then again, they're almost, almost all the time, almost always dead anyway. 100 scrap, that's praline tea to go ahead and check out what we got at the store. That's enough to get level 3 shields if we wanted, but... Mm. The Zoltan are fascinated by other species, and have yet, and have set up something of an alien knickknack shop here. Why not take a look? Okay. Drone control. See, the thing about this ship is that we start with the teleporter and mind control, which makes us very powerful, but it also means we can only take on one more system. I just wonder what that system should be. It would probably either be drone control or cloaking. I'm not sure which one I want. None of these weapons are very viable for us right now. The flak is great, and we could pair it relatively well with something like a pike beam, pike beam or an anti-bio beam even. I don't know. Anti-bio beam is really fun. Is it worth the scrap? We'll check if there's another store. No. Well, we're bound to come across another store somewhere up here, maybe. So I think we're going to hang on to a mini for now. And we're going to upgrade our ship. Let's go ahead and get an extra level of dodge. And I think we'll even... How much is that going to cost? I'm happy with doing this. We'll power that up to 25%, which is pretty good. An extra 10% evasion. Can't argue with that. It's worrying to see that Rebels have penetrated so deep into Uncharted space, even if it's only in an un unmanned craft. It arms its weapons, and we should be insane. They have a BL-2 and a rocket, and they've mind-controlled one of my Lanius, so I'm going to go ahead and mind control him back which is a cool little counter to mind control in and of itself and we'll go ahead and jump on board their ship hopefully we'll take out the missile weapon first but that burst laser too is also pretty dangerous oh there we go reset the cooldowns that is really good i'll take that way to go lanius guys okay Mind control is at it again, but guess what? Don't shoot your brother. Don't shoot your fellow Autobot. Was turned into a Decepticon. Temporarily. 
The ship is fully doored out, so we're just going to go ahead and take out the mind control. That's a multi-level mind control too. Go ahead and take out the door system as well if we can. And then we'll uh, finish them up with the flak weapon. Oh boy. The guns missiles are back online, so we'll go ahead and try and take that out if we can. Come on. I don't really want to have to have this fire at me. There we go. Let's go ahead and bring these guys back. And let's finish them off with the flak weapon. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That was that was pretty amazing. And then we'll attack this room here. And that should be enough to kill them. Indeed it is. Down go they go, auto surveyor. English. The ship explodes, leaving behind two missiles, one drum part, and 19 scrap. Again, a lot of scrap coming in in this run. That is a lot for hard mode. Let's just check if we are in hard mode. Here we are. I'm not cheating. Alright. Next nebula sector, sector please. The tangled wrecks of many ships wait in dormancy here. You see lights flicker on what looks like debris. A real scout bursts from the wreckage. And they can't hurt us. Which is quite fortuitous. So let's go ahead and jump into their shield room. Take that out. And then we can hit them with the flak. We'll just wait for the shield to go down. It looks like they have a value point in the shields. Which is something that the AI seems to do a lot more in hard mode. Well, any ship in general. There we go. That was all three hits there. Which is quite good. And we don't really need to take that out, so let's just come back on board. We'll take the weapons just because we can. And we took out the the drone and the weapons in one hit there, which is kind of cool. This should be enough to finish them off, if we can actually hit them. Alright, let's finish off the engines. Kind of unprofessional to take a drink of water halfway through the game, but... Need to keep that voice lubricated. Ship explodes, leaving behind 3 fuel, 1 missile, and 16 scrap. Very, very nice. Alright. I don't mind jumping through the rest of the Zenambula just to really slow the rebels down. I could probably jump here, jump out. Maybe jump back in. Would that be possible? Possible, but unlikely. Well, we'll jump into this little sneaky nebula anyway. An ion storm. Uh-oh. You spy two pirate ships lurking in the nebula here. They remain unaware of our presence. You're able to get a scanners. You're able to get your scanners to at least identify their cargo. We don't have scanners. <laughs> One is carrying a fuel supplies and the other ammunition. They begin to drift away from each other in the storm. We don't really need our missiles right now, so we are going to go ahead and go for that fuel dump. You jet towards the pirate with the fuel supplies and engage. Hopefully you can leave the ship in one piece. Yes indeed, hopefully. They can't hurt us with those weapons. So all we really need to do is that. Well I guess we need to take down the Zolten Shield first. So that's no problem. Let's go ahead and close those doors. Because I totally forgot to do that. And we'll call it good. Alright, two of those hit. Hopefully these three will hit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've got a clone base, so we'll need to take that out before we jump on board. It is down. Let's go ahead and depower our flak. Power up the teleporter. And if necessary... Whatever it's called. The mind control. Two humans. Should be more than a match for them. Now they start taking damage. Alright. Is there another crew member? No, it's just those two humans. Wow. Alright. Let's go ahead and jump in the oxygen room. And finish off those said humans. Boop. With the ship in one piece, we're able to salvage most of the fuel supplies before the ion storm clears and we have to jump away. We gain 3 fuel and 21 scrap. Unfortunately, our dudes are really low on health, but they are max fighters now. I'll take that. Power up our engines and prepare to jump out. Yeah, I'm going to jump up here. Don't really need that extra nebula 
the beacon, but it's there if we need it. You see a small ship, a small station fitted with hundreds of repair drones. You receive an automated message. We don't know who you are, and we don't care, but this is the right place for some ship repair. Well, it's cheap. Hmm. That's sure. Well, I want to check if there's a store, but I can't because this event is in the way. We are honestly doing okay for scrap right now, and the repairs are the same cost at stores right now anyway. Let's ignore. There is no store here. Okay. So we could go like this, this, into the nebula, down here, and back up probably. Hmm. I don't know. On the other hand, I could hang out up here, which I know has got plenty of jumps, so I think I'll do that. I didn't repower all of this stuff. You jump into a debris field that is used to be a Zoltan cruiser. Unfortunately, its engine escort takes us for the attacker and retaliates. They are refusing all hails. They can hurt us, so these guys are pretty dangerous by pure virtue of they can hurt usness. And they have a medbay, and they have level 2 shields. These NG bombers are not to be trifled with. They have anti-drones, they've got two of them. Thankfully we don't have a drone system, so that doesn't matter in the slightest. Ah, dang it. We need that thing to go offline if possible. I'm actually just gonna auto-fire that for now. Oh, it's multi-leveled as well. Oh my goodness. I had sensors I could actually see inside this ship right now, couldn't I? Alright, we still haven't taken that out. It's actually fully healed. Oh! One damage in the weapons, that's not good. Just what I was, just what I was afraid of. Alright, power up that advanced flak and get it firing back on that medbay, please. Thankfully there should only be NG in here, so they're not going to do too much damage to Ironhide. All that matters too much, we have the, whatever it's called. Clone Bay. My goodness. We may just have to jump out of here, just because this is actually a pretty monstrously powerful ship. Oh, ugh. Yeah, we're, taking a, we're taking quite a bit of damage here, actually. We can't get in there soon. We need to get two shots in there at least. <sighs> Alright, we have to jump. We're doing a, take, taking a lot of damage here. And now we have a fire in our weapons too. Alright, let's just stay for a couple of seconds. Oh my word. Alright, you get out of there and we will vent that room. There we go. Man. There's no easy store to jump to. I just was a bit hesitant to jump. Here, there go the misses. Why couldn't those have come ages before? The fires are out. Yeah, we're gonna have to go. That sucks. I didn't think I'd come across that stronger ship. You receive a message. This area is off limits. Submit your ship to processing. It's only one guard and there's lonely beacon. You decide to fight our way out. Okay, mind control, but that's okay. We can counter that with our mind control. Let's go ahead and repair weapons to take down that zone shield. They've got a clone base, so again, we only actually need to take that out before we even think about going on board. Otherwise, the crew will just keep on coming back. If a, crew, if a ship has a clone bay, you need to kill all the crew members and the clone bay, because otherwise they just come back. Doink! Get that injury healed up, I guess he can be there to make the flat go a little bit faster. Right now we can target that clone bay. The weapons can't hurt us, by the way. It's probably a bit late to say that. Oh! Lucky misses there for them. I'll not have mutiny on my ship, Captain. <laughs> right. Nope. Yep. Dang it. Come on, guys. Take that out already. Really? I don't think we've hit them yet. I don't think we've hit the clone bay yet. 
There we go. Oh my goodness. Let's jump on board then. De do that. Okay, they've mind controlled one of my guys. Oh. Say what? What's going on? Okay. Their mind control wore out apparently. How'd that happen? Okay, let's go here. Ow! Oh dear, now they're going to try and repair that, which is not good. Okay, now they're going in. Oh, now they've got an NG on my thing. Let's do something like that. Maybe we can actually kill the crew member. It's possible. Oh, we actually did. With the crew did, you're able to take the fuel out of storage, and we also gain 5 fuel and 23 scrap. Alright. So it actually worked. We actually managed to kill the crew member there. Now, you are still angry, but you're not anymore. Okay. Whew. What a fight. At least that was easier than the previous fight. Two shields, multi-leveled med bay on an NG ship. That was pretty crazy. On the plus side, those guys are fully healed. Where are we going to jump next? We've got one, about two jumps. Or we could go, so, eh, eh. So, okay, we're going to jump here and here. I'm a little bit unsure. We'll have the option to go here. Fortunately, can't go back in the nebula, I don't think. But if we can, we'll give it a shot. Might get an extra jump out of it. You arrive at the Zoltan Research Facility. They say they're researching genetic distortion due to, due to stasis sleep and prolonged FTL travel. They ask if our crew has the time to undergo a few scans, so let's participate in that study. As soon as you dock, pirates burst on board and a hostile ship appears on the radar. You hear the Zoltans yell in the distance, We're being held hostage! Intruders are on board. Not in any room that I can tell. They're in the teleporter room, really. A mantis and a Zoltan. That's not good. They've got a clone bay, so if we can take that out, these guys won't be cloned. Eh. Oh well. Those guys are fully healed too, that really sucks. Oh, come on. Come on, flat gun. I've never seen it perform this badly. Okay, now it's down, but they did manage to clone one person before that. Let's go ahead and jump in there. See if anyone challenges us. A human. That's a problem. Another human. We'll go ahead and mind control. Okay. Now they've both gone out there. We're going to hang in here for a sec. Just because. Let's go ahead and actually fire the flag. No one should be on the helm here. There we go. That was pretty good. Now they're going to try and repair that. So we're going to go send these two in. To mop up the mess. You disable the ship and contact the research station. We gain three fuel, one drop, about 20 scrap. And when we do contact that station, they say thanks for rescuing us. They held us hostage to ambush unsuspecting passers-by. Please take one fuel, one drone part, nine scrap, and an anti-personnel drone. I believe that sells for about 35 scrap, so that was definitely a very profitable haul for us. Unfortunately, we cannot jump there, but we can easily make this jump over here. But before we do, I want to consider my options. We need an extra weapon very very soon here this flak isn't going to be enough to do what we need it to do soon it wasn't enough against say ng ship that's for sure if we can find another weapon or well, we'd have to buy one i suppose now we haven't been given one by the game so yeah we will have to buy one so we need to save scrap for that but at the same time we need to upgrade our ship level three shields is an option Engines is an option. The weapons is an option. The teleporter is an option as well. I think I'm just going to get the level 2 clone bay though. And sit on my 99 scrap. That'll just let these guys heal up a little bit more between the fights. So we jump there. The fleet will be here. If we jump there, the fleet will be here. And then the next jump, they'll overtake it. One, two. Okay. 
getting a little bit confused. Ratchet, close your UI. Here we go. You arrive at an asteroid field and are greeted by a Zoltan guard. By attempting to access these closed mining fields, you are in violation of the Natural P Mineral Protection Act. Your weaponry will be confiscated for processing. We don't have time for this. Again, again with the mind control. Stop it. I've never seen so much mind control. Thankfully, we have a mind control system and can counter it. Oh my. Alright, the weapons are coming in. Thankfully, they missed. And now we can board them and wreck their day. But they have a clone base, so we actually need to take that out if we can. Alright. We got lucky there, an asteroid hit the shield down for us, and the flak was able to take it down. Okay, they mind controlled my lanier. So let's go ahead and bring him back. And send him back in, please. Thank you. Time to take those Zoltan out. Don't know where they're going. Right. Let's go ahead and do something funny. There we go. Kill everyone on board. <laughs> With the crew dead, we're able to take the fuel out of storage, and we also gain 5 fuel and 20 scrap. That was actually pretty fun. That's a good way to heal up the crew. Killing off their crew. That was kind of cool. I don't think we took any damage during that fight, so that was definitely very good. We're in Sector 3, aren't we? No, we're not. Okay. I thought we were. <sighs> wow. This is good. This is really good. The scrap is real. The scrap is definitely real. If we could only spend it on things that we knew what to spend it on. Let's jump to the exit. Prepare to get to the next sector. You've arrived at the long range beacon and when the FTL driver's charged, we can jump to the next sector. You arrive in the sector and are greeted by a science vessel waiting by the beacon. They hail you. We find ourselves low on fuel and have a proposition. They are offering us three drone parts for two fuel. Well... <sighs> I think I'm actually going to take this offer. Because if we get drone control, that could give us a way to get the damage that we want. But we did pass up a drone arm, didn't we? Very likely, unlikely, get another one. <sighs> I'm actually going to take that offer, just because we have so much fuel on so little drones. Alright. You beat me, game. Next sector, then. Mantis controlled or NG controlled? Let's go NG, because we actually have an injured crew member, so we're going to get some blue events out of this from the NG. You've arrived in NG space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times for these robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. And if you want to see us help the NG out, you'll have to come back in the next episode because we are out of time. Thank you guys for watching this first episode in the Lanius Cruiser Type B, the Transformer. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Kia kaha, and I'll see you in the next video.